Welcome to Draw and Design. In this video, we are going to use Naviate Rebar extension for rebar installation in a structural wall. So stay with us and watch the full video and please subscribe to my channel. So first of all, we will select the structural wall, then go to Naviate Rebar extension and click on walls. In the geometry section, we have the basic information of the retaining wall, the thickness of wall, the length of wall, height of wall, number of openings in our wall, and the level of retaining wall, offset from base, offset from top, everything is available. The method of generation of main reinforcements shall be the structural area reinforcement. So this will show in the group. So we can select uh, all the rebars collectively. In the structural rebars, all the rebars are, are uh, individual rebars and we have to select one by one. So we are going to select the structural area reinforcement. Next, we are going to install distribution bars. In the distribution bars, First, we are going to see the covers setting. The covers on the outer side of the structural wall and the cover on the inner side of structural wall and the cover on the edge, all the edges of the structural wall. And for the reinforcement type, we have two type of reinforcement. One is the double side reinforcement and one is the single side reinforcement. So in this section we are going to use the double side reinforcement. Then we have two portions horizontal reinforcement and vertical reinforcement. For the horizontal reinforcement we are going to use number 3 dia bar and for the end type we are going to use the closing tie. So all the closing ties will be applied as the same dia and sp same spacing as of the horizontal bars. The AB dimension is basically the dimension between the first horizontal bar and the bottom of or the base of the wall. And AT is the dimension of the uh, top, top bar and the top edge of wall. SH is the spacing of horizontal bars and the LH is the length of bar beyond the last last vertical bar. For the vertical reinforcements we are going to use number 5 rebar and for the end type we are going to use the same vertical bars with no hooks and no end tie. For AT and uh, AR, AL and AR, uh, we are going to use the dimensions uh, from the last edge of reinfor uh, last edge of the wall to the last vertical reinforcement. So this will be, in our case, this will be six inches and six inches. And for the AB, we are going to use three inches and three inches and for the spacing we are going to use seven inches and for the LH we are going to use six inches next we are going to install the doubles we are not going to install the double on left or right side just we are going to install the doubles on top side we are going to use this type of towel and we have vertical reinforcement of dia number 5 so we are going to use the same dia and for the overlap length we are going to use 3 feet and 6 inches also 3 feet and 6 inches 3 feet and 6 inches will overlap with the bottom bar and the remaining 3 feet 6 inches will overlap with the next wall Bar, vertical bars 
next we are going to use the pins for the pins we have to check this checkbox then the pin option will be available if you don't want to use pins just uncheck this one and you don't have to, to set the options for the pins for the distribution type we have three types of distribution one is the staggered one is the horizontal vertical and one is the mesh type distribution type so we are going to use staggered type so we have to provide these two spacings ssh and ssv for the ssh we are going to use four and for SS ssv we are going to use four this means after every fourth rebar the tie will be installed for the pin type we are going to use the one shape which is the tie shape and for the length of b we are going to use the same as provided by neviate two inches next in the seismic reinforcement on the both side of openings we have to provide column shape reinforcement this is called seismic reinforcement so we have to check the seismic reinforcement option so in the seismic reinforcement we have stirrup reinforcement and the vertical reinforcements for the stirrups we are going to use number three dia bar and the bs bs is the width of the stirrups provided in this column so for the bs we are going to use one feet and for the ss which is spacing of the stirrup we are going to use four inches and we are going to use the seismic tie 135 degree for the vertical reinforcement we are going to use number six rebar and two bars on both side two bars on the left side and two bars on the right side next we have to click on ok and this will generate the rebars all the reinforcements are generated as you can see on the openings both sides the seismic reinforcement is provided and the ties are also provided on both side let's look at in the 3d view so we have this reinforcement installed in the retaining wall so vertical and horizontal reinforcements are installed in the area reinforcement shape and the remaining reinforcements are installed separately let's look at in the wireframe view our ties and the horizontal vertical reinforcements are completed we have the tie on the edge we have the spacing rings and everything is complete.